Hello. It's good to see you. Today we are back with more items from Aldi. I just got back from there. Of course, um, I buy refrigerated things and those I have to go ahead and put up in the refrigerator. Um, like I got some milk and some pork chops and chicken. Um, I got some salad stuff. Anyway, all that is put up. These are things that don't have to be refrigerated and I've got a lot of stuff. First thing I want to show you is this thing here. This is the coolest wrapping paper. Um, I don't normally buy wrapping paper until after Christmas. You know, we can get it cheaper. And I don't really need any right now. I just thought this was really neat. And they only had a couple of rolls left. If I could show you. It's, um, it's full wrapping paper, obviously. But it's dinosaur wrapping paper. And the little dinosaurs are wearing hats and scarves. Look at those cute little... Oh, that one has lights. Oops, I hit, I literally hit the lights. <laughs> that one has little Christmas lights wrapped around his neck. And he's wearing a little Santa hat. <laughs> I just thought that was the cutest paper. Here we have a stegosaurus that's red and navy blue. Kind of half and half. And it's full all the way around. And they have green ones and blue ones with the Christmas lights on their necks. This is from Merry Moments, and it's heavyweight premium full gift wrap, 40 square feet, and it has the grid lines on the back that, make, that makes it so much easier to cut. It was $1.99, and I just, I thought that was cute, little, little Christmas dinosaurs. Um, I got this other thing, and it's really big. I'm not really sure how I'm going to show it to you, but... I had a few people ask me to do a video with this, and I've been looking at some different sets, but I came across this at Aldi today. It is a massive play food set. It's from B Happy, B-E-E. -E. And look, you have pizza, you have bananas, you have vegetables. The neighbor's dog's excited. They even have four ice cream cones, cookies. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Almost looks like brownies or some kind of funky sushi. We have two bottles of soda, fries, donuts down here, hot dogs, little potato chips. You can even make your own burger. We have all the different parts for a burger and it looks like a turkey, a chicken leg or turkey leg, orange. But I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with it yet. But they had this giant food set at Aldi for $10. So I went ahead and got it. These are all made out of plastic, I'm sure. Just like hollow plastic. So um, I'm going to use that in a future video. I'm not really sure um, exactly what I'm going to do. May maybe um, we could do a show and tell video where we tap the pieces and look at them one at a time. I don't know. I didn't really have any plans, but when I saw that, I decided that was the set I wanted. Okay, now I have a lot of other stuff. Some of it is very crinkly. This one I had to get. Someone asked me about it not too long ago. They asked me if I had gotten my chocolate my Christmas chocolate from Aldi yet. I did get a little bag, but earlier they didn't have any of these, the ones with the giant Santa in them. Or if they did, I didn't see them. All they had were the smaller bags of just the little Santas. Um, and these are hollow chocolates. The ones I got are, are small, but they're not hollow. But today they had these. This is Winter Knocked. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Um, milk chocolate figurines from Germany and they actually the smaller ones you see these little smaller ones in here you can use these as ornaments because they have a little gold string that's kind of sticking out of the aluminum foil and you can use that you can tie it on a Christmas tree or you could add it you could tie it to a present or anything you want um, some of them are shaped like bells, like this one's kind of a bell shape. Some of them are round, like that one. Some of them are oval, kind of like an egg. And then, of course, in the front you have the giant Santa. 
I usually end up eating that one. <laughs> there, I have so many treats and goodies and, and different things you can snack on on Christmas Day. The kids don't even notice. Like I can, I can scarf down this whole Santa and they never notice. Um, I try to have a lot of different uh, foods and things on Christmas Day. And they always enjoy the, the uh, German chocolates. So they will be very happy to see these. They've come to expect them every year at Christmas. So I'm, I'm very glad they had some. I think they had some earlier, maybe sold them all, but got some more. I don't really know, but I've been looking. So those are my little hollow chocolates. And they are so delicious. It's really good. If you have an Aldi near you and you have not tried those chocolates, they're, they're fantastic. They also do similar ones at Easter, and they're very good. The next thing I have, this is from Clancy's, which is a brand. Um, they, they make a lot of different snack foods like uh, chips, all different kinds of chips, like these corn chips right here. These are the original. They also have the bigger uh, corn chips and they have the chili flavored ones but my older son likes the original Clancy's corn chips they taste just like Fritos corn chips comes in this pretty bag it's kind of a yellowish color here and then down here it's red they were 79 cents and it is a 9.25 ounce bag and of course it's sealed along the bottom and across the top and like all Aldi items, they have the, the barcode in different places. Like there's one here, there's one down here, there's one back here. So they, they can quickly scan the items. They're not constantly looking for barcodes. Uh, most of the things, if you look, they have barcodes all over them and it makes it a lot easier. I've also noticed that other brands, I have seen other brands doing the same thing outside of Aldi. Um, I've noticed other things, putting in, putting the barcode, either putting a big one on it or putting it in different places. I bought some, I think it was General Mills cereal and noticed it had a giant barcode and made me think of Aldi. Okay, and these are noisy. These are also Clancy's. I love the dark blue on this package. It's beautiful. These are big dippers, and they are kind of hard to see, but they're little shaped tortilla chips. They're kind of shaped like a little bowl, and, and they're great for dipping. That's why they're called uh, big dippers. Um, we use these. I make um, I make this um, taco stuff. It's like a, it's almost like a dip. Um, it's like the stuff you would put in a taco. And sometimes we would just make, make that and just eat them with this without even putting them in a taco. Might actually do that tonight. Um, so it's great for digging in. And these are only 89 cents for a bag that is 10 ounces. Look at that big barcode. Boy, it goes all the way across there. And there's a big one that goes all the way across here. Can't miss that. Um... Both of my kids really like these. Uh, we use them for all kinds of different things, but mainly for taco stuff. Put that over there. What else do I have that crinkles? Oh, this. I had a special request for some of these. These are also from Clancy's. Um, this is one of those, I think this is one of those biodegradable bags. It's like the bag that Sun Chips come in, which I think is biodegradable. It's not your regular plastic. Now, if you know me, you know I don't like shortened words. This is one of the words I really don't like. It makes my skin crawl. I'm gonna call them vegetable straws because I can't stand this so-called word. They look like this, and they have different uh, vegetables, I guess, like potatoes, beets, tomatoes, or no, maybe that's a radish. That's a radish. I know that. But they're really good. Um, the yellow ones are my favorite. And um, someone asked, my younger son asked if I would bring home some of these. He actually asked about a week ago and I forgot all about it. But these um, come in a bag that is seven ounces. 
but they're incredibly light, so you get a lot in your seven ounce bag. You really do. And they're, that's, um, I'd say that's probably about the actual size of the little straws. And they are hollow inside. They're kind of square shaped and they're hollow. And they're very yummy. I just eat them by themselves and I think they're great. Okay, and on to bread. I have something here that smells so good. I keep I keep smelling it and it's driving me crazy. <laughs> oh, it, I don't know why they smell so strong, but they do. Um, here we have the Love and Fresh loaf of white, classic white bread. Uh, my son's school actually lost about half of their lunch staff this week. Out of nowhere, they quit. So um, they had to wait extra long to go to lunch yesterday. So my, my son decided to take his lunch today. So I had to make sure I had extra bread so he can make sandwiches as well because my younger son also makes his lunch every day. This loaf here is one pound, four ounces. And you see that you do get a lot of slices for that. We can make a lot of sandwiches with this bread. It comes in this nice... Nice, that was my cat jumping down. Nice thick plastic. Although the twist tie, did I do that? God, I sound like Urkel. The twist tie is supposed to be down there. I don't know if I pushed it up there. It kind of fans out like that. And it has this beautiful blue stripe. I love that color blue. It's so pretty. So it's just a basic loaf of plain bread. 85 cents. Also for 85 cents, you can get eight pre-sliced hamburger buns. This is 12 ounces here, same design. You have the same blue and brown Love and Fresh band that goes across the end of the bag. Best if used by December 25th, so we have a week. We like to make um, chicken sandwiches, and I bought some chicken so I can make some chicken sandwiches. You season them with a little bit of seasoned salt. Yeah, it's really good. And just put them in a hamburger bun and a little bit of lettuce or whatever and makes a nice sandwich. Oh, and I had hot dog buns. I was out of all the bread. I don't know. Well, I didn't go grocery shopping last weekend. That's part of the problem. I was busy all weekend. Now the hot dog buns are a little different. You will notice that the label and the border are red on the hot dog buns. I'm not really sure why the hot dog buns are different, but you do get eight hot dog buns, and that is also 85 cents. Nice thick plastic. I hope they're cut properly. Sometimes you get them and they're not cut right. And you try to open them up and they either just break in half or they don't want to open. This is 12 ounces, just like the hamburger buns. This one has a little yellow twist top, just like the other two. So we can have hot dogs one night. Um, I'm gonna show you what smells so good because it's driving me crazy. I, oh my gosh. Donuts. And I've bought these before. They're $1.49 for six. And they are so good, and but normally I can't smell them. But these, I was driving home, I took my truck to go pick up groceries. I had them in the back seat and could smell them just plain as day. Just like I kept smelling donuts. It was like being inside a Krispy Kreme or something. Um, these are from Village Bakery. And you see, obviously, um, if you've ever seen the Krispy Kreme logo, you can see that they're kind of copying that here. They, um, they made their logo to look like the Krispy Kreme logo. But they're very pretty. Look at those pretty things. I need to make an air freshener that smells like that. Oh my god. It smells so good. <laughs> I don't know if they're just extra fresh or what it is, but um, I bought these before and never smelled them like this. It's sealed up. I mean, it's, it's not that it's open or anything. You can see. It has this sticker that goes, oh, sorry, it has a sticker that goes over it. And it's sealed up, but they, they just smell really good. Whew, all 
Alright, I will leave those alone. Next, we have my older son's favorite thing ever. Um, he couldn't eat these while he had braces. They told him bagels were off limits. These are also from Love and Fresh. Now these are blueberry bagels and they are actually very, very good. These are heavy. Um, they are 20 ounces and you get six bagels and they're only $1.49. This has a pretty light blue band across the top there. You can see that. It's almost like a Carolina blue. And I bought two packs. I already put one in the kitchen, but um, yeah, he will he will eat all these up right away. <laughs> it, you have to get you have to grab them and growl if you want one, or he'll just eat them up. Also, we have flour tortillas. Now, normally I get the the larger. They have the larger ones, but they were out, so I grabbed a, just the medium soft taco flour tortillas. Let's see, you get 10 tortillas in here and they were only 89 cents from Pueblo Lindo. And they, they're resealable, which I really like. Of course, this is perforated. You just pull this off and then you have the resealable part right here, just like a little Ziploc bag. Barcode, 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 barcode. <laughs> kind of heavy, but um, yeah, we might we might make um, instead of doing the dip this time, we might actually make tacos with these, do soft tacos with those. All right, um, another crinkly thing that I have here. These lovely things. These are two beefsteak tomatoes. And you buy them two at a time in this cellophane that's sealed here and here. Like this. These are nature sweet beefsteak tomatoes. Um, let's see where they came from. Product of Mexico. They're very lovely. Aren't they? I forget how much they were, but they were really cheap. So, they smell like tomatoes. <laughs> nice little happy tomatoes. And I like to use those for a variety of things. I mean, I can work that into almost any dinner. Um, oh, I'm all done wrapping my presents, but I'm almost out of tape. Mainly because my younger son takes it. <laughs> they had this three pack of Scotch gift wrap tape. Three little rolls for a combined total of 900 inches of tape. It was only $1.99 for the three rolls, so I thought that was pretty good. And see, they have a picture of a pretty purple and white present on there. Um, probably my son will use this. He likes to make things, and then he makes these little 3D creations with little pieces of paper. He cuts out the pieces and uses tiny pieces of tape and just meticulously tapes it together. He's the one who uses up most of my tape. But I did actually use quite a bit for wrapping presents. I went a little overboard on the presents this year. So it was a lot of a lot of tape. Um, oh, this is a little gift for my older son. I just he, he has really long fingers. Um, he's gonna be really tall and he has these spider fingers and um, a lot of gloves don't fit because the fingers are too short. But I found this pair of crane, they're called hybrid gloves, men's hybrid gloves, and they had medium large and medium large and extra large. These are extra large. Um, I bought a pair of leather gloves on Amazon for him in extra large and they were long enough, but I thought he might like a slightly thinner pair. And these also, you can use um, a touch screen while you wear these. With his other gloves, I don't think he can. They also have this gripper stuff right, right in the palm there of your hand. I thought these were nice. He has to wait for the bus, and sometimes he gets cold out there. And 
I want to make sure he has enough hats and gloves and warm coats to wear so he doesn't freeze to death. Let's see what it says on the back. Upper insulation provides extra warmth and wind protection. Forefinger and thumb are touch screen compatible. And the silicone design at the palm allows for better grip, which should also help him hold his phone because <laughs> at the bus stop he can still access the Wi-Fi here at the house. So while he's waiting, he's on Wi-Fi up there playing with his phone. So with the grip there, hopefully he won't drop his phone, which would be very nice. And they have a little clip here where you can where you can hook it hook your gloves together to keep them together when you're not wearing them. Uh, Crane is a brand that I see it at Aldi a lot. They make all different kinds of things like socks, gloves, uh, knit hats, and things like that. A lot of different uh, clothing items as well, like um, pajamas and, and stuff. So hopefully he will like those. I mean, it's a nice quilted fabric. See? And they were only $7.99, so... I thought, well, look, how, look how long the fingers are. <laughs> oh my God. That should work. I hope that will work anyway. Okay, what else have we got? This actually tore a little bit. I didn't mean to. I was putting it in the bag. It's Lunch Buddies Tropical Fruit. And I like to keep a good variety of different types of fruits and things for my son to pack in his lunch. This, um, this is tropical fruit with 100% fruit juice from concentrate. What kind of fruit is in here? Red and yellow papaya, pineapple, uh, white grape juice, lemon juice. So I guess it's papaya pine and pineapple. Red and white papaya in there with pineapple. But as I was trying to put it in the bag, these two cups actually fell out of the, the container here. And I tried to shove them back in there and I ended up tearing it. But that's okay because I will I will take them out of this container anyway before I put them put them up. So that is tropical fruit. They also have other kinds. They have just like the standard fruit cocktail, or you can get little containers like this that are only peaches or only pineapple. Um, and I have some of each of those, but I did not have any of the tropical fruits, so I wanted to get one of those. Now these I got just as something a little different. Um, sometimes my older son likes to take a snack to eat uh, either while he's waiting for the bus or just before lunch. <laughs> he's always hungry. He's almost 14 and he's always hungry. Um, these are pastry crisps. You see the little... These are the blueberry flavor, and they're very thin, and they're kind of crunchy, but they're very good. He doesn't like the regular breakfast bar. I mean, he'll eat it, but I thought he might like something a little different like this. It has just a little bit of icing dribbled over the top. It's kind of drizzled over the top of the crisps. This box contains five pouches, and each pouch has two crisps for a total of 10 crisps. And they're from Millville, which is another Aldi brand. You'll see that name a lot on their cereals, um, oatmeal. A lot of breakfast foods will have the Millville name on it. And that is definitely an Aldi brand. Now let's see. Oh, this I got for two reasons. It's dual purpose. Look at this gorgeous pineapple. The main reason I got it was because I want to make, and I know this may sound weird if you've never had it, but stick with me, pineapple, cheddar cheese, Ritz cracker casserole. And if you've, I know that sounds disgusting. If you would be interested in um, watching me make that, or if you would like the recipe for it, um, let me know. It, it just, it contains pineapple, Ritz crackers, shredded cheddar cheese, um, and you don't have to use fresh pineapple, although I think it tastes better. You can use the canned pineapple. And I, I think you have to add sugar. I haven't made it in a while, so I have to look up the recipe. But I bought the pineapple to use for the casserole. It's for an event that I have to go to. 
Um, but also, I thought before I make that video, or before I make that recipe, I want to make a video before I make the recipe of the sound of the pineapple. You have these, this part here. It makes kind of a nice sound. And down here too. So I want to make, I don't even know what kind of video I want to do, but these were 89 cents. So I went ahead and grabbed one. So I'm going to do the video and then I'm going to do the casserole at some point after that. If you pull the top off the pineapple for a few days before you use it, it actually makes it a little sweeter. Um, so that's, that's coming soon. I don't know when yet. Um, yeah, so that's my pretty pineapple. I also got these. These were on, on sale. They have these LED bulbs. They are 60 watt equivalent from Lightway. This is a four bulb value pack. They were only $3.49 for four bulbs. And it says here that it will last for seven years. That's probably with just normal usage. That's probably not like having it on all the time. So um, I, I wanted to go ahead and get some more of these LED bulbs because I bought a few and I really like them. So I want to replace some of the other frequently used light bulbs in the house with these LED bulbs just to save a little money on the power bill. I'm going to have to have some work done on my uh, heating system in the next week or two. And um, <laughs> I'm trying to save as much money as I can. That's going to cost me like $3,100. <laughs> mm, yeah, it's it's a, an issue with the heating system that I did not know about until uh, last week. And um, yeah, so it's something that needs to be corrected as soon as possible. So I'm going to have that fixed. So any way I can save money on electricity or anything else, I want to do that. All right, so that's light bulbs. This, now I have never seen these before. I got these for my mom. Um, I've bought a lot for her this year for Christmas, but I, I did not get her any of the, um, what are they called? There's this chocolate covered cherry that she likes, Cellas, that's what it's called. But I, she likes the dark chocolate ones, and I haven't been able to find any. But I did find these. these this is an Aldi brand. Now they're not made like the Cellas, but I thought she might like it. It's Shoker Dark Chocolate Covered Cherries. And it's made with whole cherries. Isn't that good? You can see the little chocolate covered cherries in there. Um, let's see, Aldi brand, um, Rainforest Alliance Certified Cocoa Sourcing. So I guess they just take a cherry and just kind of coat it a bunch of times with some chocolate. Anyway, I know she likes chocolate covered cherries and I thought she might like to try a slightly different kind than what she normally has. So I got these for her. What I'm doing is... I'm taking one of the Trader Joe bags that I bought and I'm not even wrapping stuff. I'm just making like a little goodie bag out of it and I'm putting lots of stuff in there like these cherries. And I have another thing that I want to put in the in the bag to give her. She's had a lot of health problems this year and I'd kind of like to try to cheer her up. She's been kind of kind of down and I thought it'd be nice to take her some stuff. So we're going to go see her next weekend and take her some gifts. Maybe that might maybe a visit and some gifts will help cheer up. These actually need to go in the refrigerator. I didn't mean to leave them out, but I'll show them to you. Look at these beautiful strawberries. Oh, look how pretty and red they are. They're from Foxy. Ah, uh, strawberries. Product of USA. And these, um, sometimes when you get them, they're enormous. There's one big one right there on the side. You can kind of see this big monster strawberry. Look how gorgeous and red they are. I love the color of these strawberries. Um, different times of the year, they're, they're more or less expensive. They're starting to get a bit expensive. Um, but even so, I think these were only $2.39. So, I mean, 
I still think that's very reasonable. It's um, one pound of beautiful strawberries. They have the smaller ones. Personally, I like the smaller ones better. I think they actually taste better. Sometimes they're sweeter. So those little bitty ones may be mine. I may eat those myself. Um, I also bought a cube of premium napkins. I love these. I use them for everything. These are Boulder. Now Boulder is a paper product brand that you see very frequently at Aldi. Oh, that's delightful. I love that sound. It's just so nice. That's a nice kind of stiff cellophane. I could do a whole video just squishing this thing in napkins. Um, com comparable to Vanity Fair, these are two ply all occasion napkins. So if the queen comes over, you can give her one of these and it's totally fine because it says it's all occasion. 100 count and they were $1.49. Now a package this size will last us quite a while, at least a couple of months. We don't use a lot of napkins, um, but yeah, they'll, we use them at dinner time a lot um, and to wipe up a quick spill, but I also have a dish towel in there for that kind of thing. But I just like these better. I don't mind paying a little more for these because they do last a long time and they just seem to be more absorbent than the cheaper ones. So those are my premium all purpose, all occasion napkins. Oh, don't yell at me. If you don't like paper plates and paper napkins, I totally understand. You don't have to use them. But I do, and I'm going to use them all and go buy more. These are also bolder. I get lectured frequently about the stuff I buy. <laughs> 80 heavy duty paper plates. Now when I, I use these, really only use these for the cat's wet food. Um, I used to use a, um, a porcelain plate on the floor and I would put the food in there for them and I give them a little container of wet food twice a day and they have dry food out all the time and water but the thing I hate is it the food leaves this slimy film on the plate and I have to wash it twice a day and it feels really gross so I started using this and I will use one plate a day I use one in the morning and then I will reuse it at night for their second little can of cat food, and then I just throw it away. But that will do, that's 80 plates, that will last 80 days for $2.99. And I don't have to touch the slimy cat food residue, which ugh, I'm glad. It feels like a slug trail. It's very unpleasant. These I got from my mom. I don't remember seeing these before. I love the pink, the pink shiny bow on this. This is from, from, I don't know if you pronounce it, Lacura or Lacura, L-A-C-U-R-A. That's an Aldi brand. They make a very nice moisturizer, by the way. Um, Lacura Botanicals. You have a bottle here, a pump bottle of scented lotion and a scented hand wash. And the smell is clean cotton. I don't really know what that smells like exactly, but I thought it was a cute little thing. It comes in this rose gold metal wire container. This little, little caddy here that holds them together. And it was only $4.99. So I thought this would be a perfect addition to my mom's little um, gift Trader Joe's goodie bag because she uses a lot of soap and hand lotion. She washes her hands a lot and um, her skin gets really dry, so she's always grateful to get lotion, especially in the winter time. The bottles have a really pretty striped design. They are plastic. And then you have this metal caddy, which she can keep them in the caddy or put them separately or however she wants to do it. They are paraben and phthalate free. And a little lotion set for $4.99. It's 
So that will probably, along with the chocolate covered cherries, will round out her, her goodie bag nicely. So we have a lot of presents. We have that. And we have the paint with diamonds picture, the little ocean picture. Um, I got that framed. I can't wait to take that to her. Um, and some other some other stuff. I got her a new robe um, and a calendar. And I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go have early Christmas with her this weekend. These I just thought were cute. They had these up near the register. These are from ben Benton's, which is another Aldi brand. They are, this is a limited edition item. A lot of times up near the register, you will see seasonal items like this. They only have certain times of the year. These are Snowman Vanilla Grams snack packs. And you get six packs of little snowman cookies. Aren't they cute little snowmen? So these are little sealed packets of cookies that I can add to my son's selection of things for his lunch every day if he wants to put a little pack of cookies in there he can um let's see okay so you get six pouches and the total weight is it's six ounces so i guess they're just basically one ounce a piece introducing aldi's limited edition collection a range of products that extends across the brands you love from your family favorites to something new we bring this holiday collection chosen for you. They also had ninja bread cookie kits. You can make little gingerbread men, but they were like ninja men. <laughs> it was really cute. I was going to get it, but you have to actually make the gingerbread men yourself. And honestly, I don't feel like baking cookies right now, so I didn't get it. But they did have ninja bread cookie sets for $4.99, and they were really cute. So that's vanilla snack packs. And I also had a request for these. Um, I let my younger son try the Trader Joe's fruit snacks, and he loved them. He said they were so good. And I want to go get more, but I don't know when I'll get back to Trader Joe's. They're, they're kind of, they're about a half hour drive from here. But they did have these Simply Nature strawberry fruit strips at Aldi. This is a, um, let's see, a 10 and a half ounce box, and you get 21 of these fruit strips in here. And they're individually packed, individually wrapped. And I think they were $4.99. And Simply Nature is um, one of their brands that a lot of times they don't have any artificial colors or flavors. Um, you know, they. It's free from over 125 artificial ingredients and preservatives. So I don't know if it's exactly like the Trader Joe's little fruit strips. I thought I would let him try them. They had strawberry and raspberry. I decided to go with the strawberry. So it gives you 100% of the daily value of vitamin C. So that's something. Next, I have a box of Here's Millville again. I have a box of Millville Cinnamon Crunch Squares made with real cinnamon. These are like um, cinnamon toast, I'm sorry. Yeah, cinnamon toast crunch. Is that right? Cinnamon toast? Or no, I, I think that's right. But it's, it's the Millville brand. They were only $1.39 for a 12.2 ounce box. And they taste just like the, the real ones. I've tried them. They have no artificial flavors or high fructose corn syrup, no certified synthetic colors or synthetic preservatives. Oh, they look yummy. And you can see the little swirls of cinnamon on each individual little piece of cereal. And my kids sometimes like to eat this with you know, just a snack, just with no milk. They'll just put some in a bowl and eat it. And then on the back, we have fun with colors. Start with coloring by the numbers below or go wild with the colors with the colors of your own and unleash your inner artist. Blue, orange, yellow. So you can color a monkey, an elephant, and a rhinoceros. And you could choose your own colors if you like. And on that side there, I guess they show you what the elephant's going to look like. Kind of like a cheat sheet. They don't show you the other ones, just the elephant. Okay. Cinnamon crunch squares. And then I had one more thing. This is a limit, another limited edition item. 
from Millville. And up here at the top, you can see that it actually says limited edition. Snickerdoodle cookies. <laughs> they are snickerdoodle cookies tested with sugar and cinnamon. And they are really enjoying their life. I mean, look at them. Like, I would give anything to feel like that. Look how excited and happy they are. <laughs> They're about to get eaten. They don't care. It's like they don't give a crap. They're on a sled. They got little ear moths. They are living the life. While all their little friends drown in a bowl of milk, they don't care. They're just whistling past the graveyard. We've never tried these. I've never seen these before. They had them over on one of the seasonal aisles with a bunch of the other Christmas stuff. And it just looked like such a fun box. I had to, I had to try it. I think it was only a dollar thirty-nine, like the other. Um, let's see. On the back, there is a character kit and creature creator. Look at this. You can make um, monsters. Find the two monsters that are exactly the same. So you find two that are the same, and you can even create your own monster. You draw. First you draw the horns or hair, then you draw the eyes, and then you draw the mouth and teeth. Pretty cute. So that is snickerdoodle cookies. I have to try these myself. I like snickerdoodle cookies. I haven't had any in a long time, but I have to try that. But that, I think, is everything I got. It's a gracious plenty, I'll tell you. But thank you so much for coming to see all my Aldi goodies. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I will see you again really soon.